Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this week in GTA 5 Online is actually filled with some pretty amazing money methods that can make you millions of dollars in no time. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of those money methods. That being said, if you're going to enjoy or learn anything new, please do me a favor by going down below and dropping a like on it for me. But now let's get into the very first money method. All right, so for the first money method, we are going to be using the special cargo warehouse because this week the special cargo sell missions are paying out double money and double RP. To get things started, first of all, enter inside the CEO office and then log into your computer. Once you're logged in, click here where it says special cargo and then under here where it says warehouses, you'll see all of the different warehouses that you own. If you don't own one, click here where it says warehouse map and that is where you can purchase some if you don't own any already. Once you own your warehouse, what you next need to do is select that warehouse and then you'll see you have three different options. You can buy one crate for $2,000, two crates for $8,000 or three crates for $18,000. And trust me, the only option you ever want to be doing when sourcing these crates are the three crates for $18,000. Trust me, that is going to be the best option. Once you started the source mission, you next need to go wherever the crate is on the map. Once you arrive at the crate, it is either going to be one vehicle holding all three crates or it is going to be three individual crates that you need to deliver one by one. And don't be stressed out if you did get that source mission where you need to deliver the crates one by one individually over to the warehouse because even if you did get this mission, it is still pretty easy as long as you have something like an Oppressor Mark II or some sort of really fast helicopter. But don't be too worried about that though because I'd say almost every single time that you do a source mission, you are almost always going to be getting just one vehicle that is holding all three of the crates inside of it, which is this source mission that I'm doing right here. And then once you deliver that one vehicle over to the warehouse, just just like that you now have delivered all three of the crates over to your warehouse. And that is literally how this business works. You are literally just buying crates, delivering it over to your warehouse. And then once your warehouse is completely full or whenever you are ready to sell, you can simply sell all of the crates inside the warehouse for a whole bunch of money. But keep in mind, that is definitely going to take you a few hours of grinding in GTA 5 online to get that warehouse completely full. This is just my money methods video, so I'm only going to be quickly showing you the best money methods to be doing this week. But if you would like to see a full guide on the best way to run the special car warehouse business in GTA 5 online, make sure you click the video that you see on the top right corner of your screen or you can also click the link that you see in the description. But that is only for the people who want to see a in detailed guide on the special cargo warehouse because right now I'm going to be skipping straight over to the selling part. Alright so as you can see I just filled up my large warehouse completely full. So once you fill up your large warehouse completely full what I recommend you do first is go over to the laptop and then sign into it. Once you signed in take a look right here as you can see all of my crates only sell for 4.29 million dollars which is completely wrong it's supposed to sell for 4.4 million dollars the reason for this is because I need to sell all of my special items first. So if you do have special items like I do here in my warehouse, which most likely you will if you filled up your warehouse completely full, what you first need to do is click right here at the very bottom where it says sell all special items at once. And this is really important if you are selling a completely full warehouse like mine, you need to make sure that you sell all of the special items first before you sell all of the other crates. And don't worry, the special item sell missions are usually really simple. It is almost always just one sell vehicle that you deliver over to one location. And as you can see, once I delivered it over to that one location, you can see I got paid $230,000. And the reason we got so much money for that one sell vehicle is simply because it was a special item like literally said in the name. All right, but once you sold all of those special items, go back over to that same warehouse and then sign into the laptop. As you'll see, if you want to sell all of those crates, it should be worth more money now, now that all of those special items are gone. So click sell all crates and then click confirm. From here, you are now going to be put inside the sell mission. And if you are selling a completely full large warehouse like I was, most likely you'll only get one sell vehicle. When it comes to selling your full large special cargo warehouse, there's two different ways you can go about it. You can either sell it in an invite only session and walk away with $4.4 million dollars or you could sell it in a public session with over 20 people in it, which will give you a 2.5% money bonus for every single player in the session up to 20 players. And then you'll be earning $6.6 .6 million that way which is actually $2.2 million extra as a money bonus on top of the $4.4 million if you were to sell it in a public session with over 20 people in it. 
And I don't know about you guys, but $2.2 million as a money bonus, I definitely need. So I sold this in a public session with over 20 people in it, which I actually luckily had no problems doing. As you can see, I literally just delivered this one boat over to the one drop off. And then once I deliver the boat over to the drop off, here's exactly how much money I got paid. As I said, $6.6 .6 million, which is $2.2 .2 million on top of the original amount I was already supposed to be getting. So yeah, the special cargo sell missions this week are something you should definitely be doing because only this week it's going to be paying this much money. Okay, so getting into the second money method now, I'm going to be showing you how to earn $253,000 in only 3 minutes. If you want to do this, simply open up your pause menu and head over to this exact location here in the Pacific Bluffs where this week's HSW time trial is located at. Once you get over here, make sure you call out your fastest HSW vehicle that you own and drive it on top of the HSW time trial, then click right D-pad. From here, stay still, but open up the pause menu and then go all the way up here to where the checkpoint is at and then mark it. Once you've marked it, drop the pause menu, open up your phone, click where it says job list, and then exit out of the HSW time trial just like so. From here, whenever you are ready, click right D-pad to start the time trial and then immediately go all the way down the hill just like normal, but here it'll tell you to take a right. Do not take a right, you want to take a left and then go all the way down this street. Once you start going all the way down this street, it'll redirect you to a whole new waypoint. So from here, follow this waypoint all the way through, making sure that you try your best to go as fast as you possibly can while also trying your best to dodge all of the traffic. And as long as you did not crash more than three times, you should have been able to beat the time trial and here's exactly how much money you get once you beat the the HSW time trial. As I said, $253,000, which I think is very good for only 3 minutes and 11 seconds of simply driving over to a destination. Alright, and for the third money method, I am now going to be showing you how to earn $100,000 every single 48 minutes this entire week in GTA 5 Online. To do this, you need to own a CEO office and also a special cargo warehouse. Once you own those, walk up to your assistant inside the CEO office and then click right D-pad and then go down here to where it says export mixed goods. You'll see you have this option available only if you have a special cargo warehouse. So from here, start the export mixed goods mission. After you started the mission, it is going to have you go over to a truck in front of your special cargo warehouse. So once you go over to that truck, simply enter inside of it. And then once you are inside, all you need to do is deliver this over to the terminal, which as you can see, the terminal is only 2.5 miles away from my special cargo warehouse and then once you deliver over to the terminal here is exactly how much money you get paid once you get through the quick cutscene. As you can see right after that cutscene I got paid a total of $100,000 which if you ask me I think is very very good that literally took me under 5 minutes to do. And like I said, you can literally do these export mixed goods missions every single 48 minutes. So once 48 minutes has passed, you can go back inside the CEO office and then start this mission right back up again. Okay, but now getting into the fourth money method, I'm now going to be showing you a money method that literally any single player can start and do in GTA 5 Online. If you want to do it, first of all, open up the pause menu and then go over here to where it says online, then click jobs, then play job, then rockstar created, and then adversary mode. From here, look for the adversary mode called collection time because as you can see this game mode is going to be paying double money and double rp this entire week once you start the game mode as far as the settings go you want to make sure you put the number of teams either set to four or two teams if you have a lot of people i recommend setting it to four teams if you have a little bit of people set it to two teams after that, go down to where it says team balancing and set that to on, then go down to where it says first to win, set that to four rounds, then go down to where it says round duration and set it to 15 minutes. But if you feel 15 minutes is too long, you can always set it to 10 minutes, which honestly, I think 10 minutes is the perfect sweet spot. If you have never played the collection time adversary mode, let me quickly explain it to you. That way you aren't completely lost if you start it for your first time. So as you can see, once everyone starts off in this game mode, they start off with one briefcase above their head. As you can see, that is why there is a number one above my head right now. And the goal of this game mode is pretty simple. Since everyone starts off with one briefcase, the goal is to take out every single person on the other team. Because once you take out somebody on the other team, they instantly drop their briefcase as you can see right there. And once you do take out a whole bunch of people on the other team and they all drop their briefcase, you need to make sure you pick up the briefcases that they drop because once your team is holding all of the briefcases, you just need to hold them for 30 seconds and if you hold all of the briefcases for 30 seconds, you'll end up winning the round. So it's a pretty easy game mode to understand. Literally all you have to do is try to take out every single person on the other team. That way you can hold all of the briefcases and if you hold all of the briefcases for 30 seconds, you'll end up winning the round. 
And that's pretty much how this game mode works. Anyway, skipping straight to it though, here is exactly how much money you get paid once you win the entire match. In a second, I'll show you how much you make around. But as you can see, I made $167,000. And take a look at the RP, also very good, 11,000 RP. But like I said, I am going to be showing you how much you make every single round. As you can see, every single round that you win, you'll make $23,000 and then the second place team will get paid $11,000. And of course, I already showed you how much you make once you win the entire game mode. So yeah, this game mode is definitely a really good one to make lots of money and also RP from. And the best part about it is literally anybody can start this up. Okay, but now getting into the fifth money method, I'm now going to be showing you how to earn $102,000 in only two minutes. If you want to do this, simply open up the pause menu and head over here to this exact location where this week's regular time trial is located at. Once you get over here, make sure you call out your fastest motorcycle that you own and drive it on top of the time trial and park it exactly how mine is here. From here, click right D-pad, but stay still and open up the pause menu, then go all the way over here to the right and then mark the checkpoint. From here, drop the pause menu, open up the phone, click where it says job list, and then exit out of the time trial just like so. From here, whenever you are ready, click right D-pad to start the time trial and go the exact way I'm going here on the highway. Once you start going all the way down the highway, it should give you a whole new waypoint to follow. So from there, follow that exact waypoint all the way through. With this week's time trial, it is actually super important to make sure that you are going the complete max speed. So make sure you are holding your gas button all the way down and also your left joystick all the way up the entire way through or at least as long as you can the entire way through. And as long as you did those two things and you did not crash, here is exactly how much money you get once you beat the time trial. As I said, $102,000, which I think is very good for only around two minutes of simply driving over to a destination. For the sixth money method, we are going to be doing this week's weekly challenge, which this week's weekly challenge is pretty simple. As you can see, all you have to do is sell over half a million dollars worth of product across all of your businesses which I've already completed because as you saw in my first money method, I sold way over half a million dollars worth of my business because my CEO special cargo warehouse sold for $6.6 .6 million. So I definitely surpassed that half a million dollars. Anyway, you also can earn an extra $100,000 on top of that by simply completing any single business sell mission. This does not have to be a certain amount of money earned. You just have to complete any single business sell mission, which once again, I've already completed. And yeah, doing those two simple things will earn you $200,000 this week. So so make sure you definitely do them. And yeah, that is now going to be the end of today's video. Now you know every single amazing money method you should be doing this week in GTA 5 Online to make yourself millions and millions of dollars in no time. If you want on to enjoy today's video and you still haven't already, please do me a favor by going down below and dropping a like on the video for me. And of course, if you aren't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you never miss out on a future GTA 5 Online video just like this one. But until next time, I will see you all in my very next video. Peace.